Hi and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Well, as you can see, I'm not at my stove. I'm not getting ready to cook something. This video is going to be a quick one because I realized February is almost over and I totally forgot to give a fruitcake update. Those of, who, those of you who have been watching the channel for a while know that I made a fruitcake back in November in part of the holiday series. I did a whole series of recipes of foods that are really good for Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. And I was really excited about the fruitcake because I've never had fruitcake before and yet I know it's been a part of Christmases for centuries. I even did a whole history speech <laughs> about it in that video. So you'll have to go back and check that out. And you'll probably decide I, I talk too much about the fruitcake. But anyway, I found a recipe and I decided I was going to make it and I made it. And ultimately, I wasn't crazy about it. But I don't think it was the fruitcake's fault and I'm planning to do it again this year. So here's what I think went wrong and here's what I'm going to do differently this year. So in the fruit cake I made back in November, I used several types of dried fruit. You can reference back to that video and see what all of them were. But I don't think I chopped them finely enough because when it was time to serve the fruit cake, every time I would cut into it, I would hit a piece of fruit, but that would end up causing the piece of cake to kind of crumble. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. Also, um, the brandy I used to put on the fruit cake right after it was made and that I also poured on the fruit cake a few times from Chris from um, when I made it at the beginning of November until we had it at Christmas time. I don't like that. I don't I don't drink brandy and I really should have thought better about that. I used brandy because it was in all the it's like all of the old 18th century recipes, almost all of them mentioned brandy. So I thought, well, this is the most traditional thing, so this is what I'm going to use. And I probably sort of should have just done what my mom said my grandmother always did when my mom was a little girl is put Manischewitz wine on the cake. So that's what my grandmother used to use when she would make a fruit cake. She would pour she would pour that wine on it and she would just wrap it in a, a nice old clean bed sheet and then on Christmas she'd serve it and that would be it and she wouldn't keep adding wine to it. She'd put wine on it once and then that would be it. So, I probably will do that rather than the brandy. Honestly, um, like I said, I don't drink brandy. I don't drink much alcohol at all. I, I definitely don't drink much liquor. If I do drink liquor, it's usually a spiced rum, and I like that with Coke because I like rum and Coke. Um, but beyond that, I, don't, I just don't drink much of any of, any of that. And so, um, in any case, the brandy, not a fan of that. The cake tastes a little too medicinal for me. Now, if you really like the taste of brandy, you might go for it. Like, that might be really your thing. Um, but it's, it just wasn't mine. So, um, another thing is I didn't find them before I actually made the fruit cake. It was not until sometime in December they started selling these little, these little canisters um, at Walmart and at probably at other grocery stores, but I remember specifically seeing them in Walmart when I wasn't even shopping for groceries um, of these bright red and green and yellow little um, candied fruits that you can put in a fruitcake. And I hadn't seen those. And I hadn't noticed them before because it's not been on my radar because I've not been making fruitcakes. But um, when I make my fruitcake this year, I'll probably try those. Only God knows what kind of dyes are in that. I don't know if they put dyes in them. I'm guessing they probably do because they're pretty vivid. But I kind of suspect that's what has been used for decades for making fruit cakes, not centuries. Obviously, that wouldn't be the centuries-old trick. But I'm still curious about it because that would be more than likely what my grandmother has used to make fruit cakes and things like that. In fact, I'll probably ask my grandmother um, about it now before I make a fruit cake this year. So anyway, that's the fruit cake update. I made it. The batter was delicious, but the finished product at Christmas was disappointing. But I think it can be salvaged if I do something different with the fruit and if I don't use brandy. So I hope you'll stick with me all this year. I hope you're subscribed to this channel because that way when that time of year rolls around again and I'm posting holiday videos, assuming I do that again this year, if y'all like that, let me know and I'll be sure and do it. Um, but 
I, you can follow along because I'll certainly have to do a video on a new recipe for fruitcake, which might turn out to just be my grandmother's recipe for fruitcake. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you're disappointed I didn't make anything this time for for this video, don't don't worry. I will be making one before the week is out um, with some sort of recipe. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but I am going to be doing a recipe this week. But this is just an update and I had to get it out and I didn't want February to go by without me doing this. So thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.